Hey, what's up? Welcome to DGen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of AMC Entertainment, ticker symbol AMC. And here I am recording this on Friday, April 19th, after the market has closed with AMC closing the week at a price of $3.16 being up just over 8% on the day and being, I believe, just under 20% up over the course of the week. So a pretty great week for AMC. Last week we had closed below $3 a share and uh, yeah, it was not looking so great for the stock, uh, but we have turned around and I do feel like the bottom could be in for AMC for a number of reasons and one of those reasons being that it looks like the stock market in general has topped. And, you know, I do feel like AMC could be a contrarian play that the top is in with the stock market, the bottom is in with AMC. And I do think we could be seeing a lot of upside uh, in the remainder of the year. So I'm looking forward to that. But of course, price could always go down more. So I did want to go over some levels that stand out and have stood out to me over the course of the year so far. And so here, looking at the chart, I do have a few downtrends levels that we could be paying attention to that might be significant in the coming weeks and months ahead. And one of those is this parallel downtrending channel that I have drawn here based on the white lines here, these three pivot points. And this goes back to, you know, I believe I have covered this since the start of the year and we have traded within it to some extent, but also going above it as well as breaking below it. I do think that the bottom of this channel was significant over the course of this week that we just had actually over the course of today. So I do think that's going to be important to be looking at. And then also I did want to point out the shaded uh, channel that price has more or less resided in since going back to the reverse split, the one for 10 reverse split that occurred on August 24th. As you can see, uh, we do have the blue shaded region for the top part of that channel and then the red shaded region for the bottom part of that channel and current price is in the upper half of that channel. Uh, but over the course of the past couple few weeks, uh, we have traded right around the midpoint. And so I do think we could be seeing a lot of upside potentially breaking out of that channel in the coming weeks, months ahead. And, uh, you know, but before we do get there, uh, there are some other levels that I do think are going to be important. One is this purple downtrend. I had previously talked about getting to this level as being getting to a price of right around $8 a share, but I actually do think getting to this level now would coincide with getting to a price of right around $5 a share, also coinciding with this previous high right around $5.10, as well as breaking out of both channels, the white downtrending channel as well as the shaded downtrending channel, getting to the conjunction of those levels could be right around $5, $5.10, and we could be seeing that in the weeks, if not the week ahead. So I do think there is a lot of potential for AMC. And then getting beyond that, before I zoom in on the chart, did want to point out uh, this gap that we have here based on the close really from November 8th, closing at a price of $10.09. I do have this blue line marked here at $10, just being a round whole number. Quite possible we could be seeing AMC getting to $10 a share in the coming months. So I think there's a lot to look forward to there. And then finally, before zooming in on the daily candles, I did want to point out that we have seen bullish divergence in the stock price relative to the RSI. And so that is based on this low in the RSI and the price hit on January 17th. RSI was at a value of 1805, whereas price hit a low of $4.00 and one cent. We have since seen lower lows in the price 
hitting a low on April 15th of $2.46 before we saw a turnaround. However, the RSI was not a lower low. It was actually a higher low given that the value was 1928 being higher than 1805. That is, as a result, bullish divergence seeing lower lows in the stock price seeing higher lows in the RSI and following seeing that bullish divergence, uh, which again we saw on Monday of this week, uh, getting an uptick in the RSI, we have seen price go up notably since then. And so here, uh, looking at the chart zoomed in a little bit, but not as much as I just had it zoomed in. Here we can see a couple retracements that I did want to go over. One is this yellow retracement. And the main level that I did want to point out from that is the 1618 extension at a price of $2 and right around 65 cents. And that did coincide uh, with this uh, low that we saw actually on Tuesday the 16th. Uh, but we did see a close below that 1618 extension, getting a close below it at a price of $2.47 on Monday, having closed the previous Friday right at that level. We did get what looks like a break below it, but we did not confirm below it because the low on Monday was 246. We did not get a secondary close below that low. We actually saw a bullish engulfing candle on Tuesday the 16th, fully engulfing Monday's candle and getting a close above the 1618, closing Tuesday at a price of $2.74 and then gapping up from that close to get some sideways consolidation, bullish consolidation, and then another bullish engulfing candle for Friday. But then note that the high of Friday was $3.30, and that does seem to coincide with this downtrending white line, which is the bottom of that downtrending white channel. And so I do think it is significant that we were rejected from that level, but I do think that it is good that we were able to close above the 236 from this Fibonacci retracement going from the high here, hit on February 28th of $5.10, coming down to the recent low, the all-time low that we hit on the 16th at a price of $2.38. And so since we were able to close the week above the 236, closing above basically $3 a share, so the 236 is at $3.02, since we closed at $3.16, I do think we might be pulling back to $3.02 next week, testing that as support as we did get some consolidation there, some wick highs up to that level. I do think price could be pulling back to that, testing that as support before continuing higher to break above this downtrend and to potentially test the 382 from the white retracement here, which is at a price of $3 and right around 42 cents. Hopefully we can get some closes above that and start to make our way back to this previous low at $3.58.5. That was hit on February 6th. Hopefully we can start to get some closes above that level as well and potentially get back to what I have marked here uh, is the golden pocket. So that is the 618 to 65% level from this retracement here. That is a region that is returned to frequently that might be acting as some notable resistance that also does seem to coincide with a gap fill you know, that we see here based on the lows hit on March 27th at $4.07. We did then gap down from that candle, hitting a high on March 28th of $3.96, so right around $4. That does coincide with the 618 and 65% level ranging from $4.06 to $4.15. We also did have some consolidation before really this fake out up move. Uh, going up over 6%, over 6.5% on March 27th before we did gap down. 
And so, you know, I do think that is going to be a level for us to be returning to four dollars a share but i do think that we might be bumping into some resistance there so do look for that but really you know i think that seeing closes above three dollars and 42 cents three dollars and 59 cents and then getting into this gap getting to four dollars a share i think those will all be significant levels for us but if we do see a pullback from right around $4.06 to $4.15, I would not be surprised by that because there were probably some buyers here expecting some up moves, but then seeing the gap down, they're probably going to be some weak hands there wanting to offload some shares. But, you know, following that sell off, if we do get to right around $4 a share, we could see a pullback to perhaps the open that was hit on March 28th. That was at a price of $3.84. So if over the course of the next week or two, we can get to $4 a share, perhaps wait for a pullback to add more at $3.84 or maybe the open that was hit on April 1st, that being at a price of $3.74. And so those could be levels to dip by if we do go up to $4 a share. So maybe wait for a pullback before adding in and before we really start to get to this convergence of levels that I had mentioned right around $5 or $5.10. That does seem to coincide with the high here hit on February 28th, $5 and 10 cents as well as the purple downtrend and the top of the white downtrending channel and uh, you know that would be breaking above the shaded channel so I do think five dollars could definitely be in the future and this convergence of those levels does end up being right around the end of April uh, ranging from April 26th to potentially April 30th. So maybe by the end of the month, we are revisiting $5, $5.10, and maybe uh, $4 ends up acting as support then rather than resistance. Uh, but so, you know, what I could see with the stock price for the next week for the close of April is a move up to $4, a pullback to right around 375 maybe 350 and then a move up to five dollars a share i think that would be excellent that's what i would really be looking forward to uh, but you know either way i think that what we're seeing whether it's three dollars and 16 cents or two dollars and 38 cents uh, the lows that we recently saw i think these prices are going to be a great great discount when we look back on the stock towards the end of the year so, you know, I think this is a great time to accumulate. It doesn't matter if people are being bearish, if the sentiment is bearish overall. Uh, you know, I think that the stock price is at a discount. And I think that AMC is going to be doing great in the second half of 2024 and into 2025. And so I think that $3.16 is going to be a steal. So don't let the sale pass you by, especially with us seeing this bullish engulfing candle on Friday. Uh, you know, I think that we're going to see a lot of upside in the weeks, months, and years ahead for AMC. And, you know, so that's what I'm thinking about when I look at the stock price. It's not a weekly or daily trade for me. It is a long-term uh, commitment. And so I think that there's a long-term uh, commitment to the upside from here. So that's what I'm looking forward to. But, you know, those are just my thoughts. If you found them helpful, make sure you like the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching and happy weekend. Go enjoy some movies.